What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 10 through 10.1.1 with the extra recipe beta 4. So keep in mind this is beta 4. If you guys are watching this in the future, there might be a more up to date jailbreak. So just make sure you're subscribed so you're not missing out on that. Uh, but anyways, like I said, this is extra recipe. Uh, if you're still on the mock portal, you're definitely going to want to upgrade uh, to this jailbreak. If you're on Extra Recipe Beta 3, you're definitely going to want to update to this jailbreak as well. As this, in my opinion, is probably the most stable jailbreak yet. So, for those of you that are still running the mock portal, I'm going to show you guys how to properly update to this jailbreak. Uh, I'm going to cover a lot in this video, so hopefully I answer a lot of questions with what I show you. Uh, for those of you that are jailbreaking for the very first time, uh, don't worry about this first step. Um, so, the first thing you guys are going to want to do, like I said, if you still have the mock portal jailbreak, make sure your device is in the jailbroken state, and go ahead and jump into Cydia. Now, if you guys have installed any substrate fixes, any tweak or packages that fix substrate, uh, one would be from the iJappyJaw, uh, repo another one is from this one here this was the latest uh, substrate fix that I brought a tutorial for using order 65 that was a uh, another one is substrate enabler for Yalu beta 3 also I showed you guys how to get the respring icon any of these if you have any of these installed go ahead and select on it and uninstall the package you're also going to want to go ahead and install Kenobi for Yalu b3 this package is going to revert the changes that were made by Order 65. So make sure you install this package uh, as well as uninstall any of these if you have them installed on your device. So once you've done that and your device is done uh, going through the re respring process, um, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and get your device out of the jailbroken state. So this is going to be for anybody that's on Extra Recipe Beta 3 or on the Mock Portal. Like I said, what we're going to want to do is get our device out of the jailbroken state. So how we're going to do that is just to hard reboot our device. Hold the power button and hold the volume down button both at the same time until your device reboots. Keep holding the buttons until you see the Apple logo. So let's go ahead and wait a couple seconds here and the Apple logo should appear. So there we go. Now once you've done that, uh, we'll go ahead and let my device boot up and I'll be right back. Alrighty, my device is done booting back up, so I'm just going to go ahead and enter my passcode and go into my device. So now our device is back to the normal state. It is not jailbroken right now or the jailbreak is not enabled. That is what you want. So we're going to go ahead and swipe over to the extra recipe or mock portal, depending on which jailbreak you have, uh, either extra recipe beta 3 or mock portal. What you want to do is just go ahead and delete it. So go ahead and delete it off your device. And now the next part is going to take place on our computer. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over to my computer now. Alrighty, now once you're on your computer, make sure your device is plugged into it. So that's the first step. Just make sure your device is plugged into your computer. Now anybody that is watching this that has not jailbroken their device yet, this is where the tutorial begins for you. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to download a couple of things. We're going to jump into Safari here. And what you're going to want to do is come to this website here. This is where you're going to download the actual jailbreak from. And you're also going to need Cydia Impactor. This is a program that's going to allow you to install the .ipa onto your device. So all you got to do is scroll down and you'll see down here towards the bottom a link for Cydia Impactor. So go ahead and click on that and install it onto your computer. Like I said, that's the program that's going to allow us to uh, install the .ipa onto our device. Now once you've done that, you can go to the top, as you guys can see here is iPhone 7 10.1.1 Beta 4, now with Substrate and iOS 10.0.x support, and uh, this is the download, so just click on download, I've already done it. Once you've downloaded both things, just go ahead and go back to your desktop, and you're going to want to open up Cydia Impactor, this is what it looks like right here, it's a very simple program. Uh, once you have opened up Impactor, it should automatically detect your device. As you guys can see, it has uh, detected my iPhone 7 Plus. And then all you got to do is drag the .ipa, the extra recipe beta 4, onto Cydia Impactor. 
And as you guys can see, you will get a pop up here asking you to log in or sign in with your iTunes email and passcode. This is the same email and passcode that you have used on your device. So go ahead and enter that in and I'll do it really quickly. And after you've entered your passcode, as you guys can see, Impactor will start installing the application onto our device. Uh, using your email and passcode with this is totally safe. It is used to just uh, sign the application, basically authorizing it to uh, put it onto your device. So it's already done, it's very quick. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump back over to my device. Alrighty, now on your device, as you guys can see, here is the extra recipe application. This is, like I said, the application that's gonna jailbreak our device. This is currently beta four. Uh, currently the most up-to-date version of it like I said if you guys are watching this in the future uh, this application might be you know in beta 5 or you know anything higher than that uh, but anyways the first thing you guys want to do that I recommend is to open up multitasking and go ahead and kill everything from multitasking so I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quickly all right now as you guys can see I have ended everything from multitasking on my device now what we're gonna do is go ahead and jump into the settings application go to general scroll all the way down until you see profiles and device management go ahead and open up that and then we'll go into the developer application section as you guys uh, see there it should be your email that you used go ahead and select on that and then trust the extra recipe application uh, that will allow you to open up the application as you guys can see i've already trusted it so i'm not going to do that so we're going to go ahead and open up the extra recipe application now it's kind of nice with this beta four, you actually get somewhat of a user interface, which is definitely an upgrade from beta three. Beta three was just a white screen and it seemed to struggle to, you know, jailbreak your device on the first try. I've used this beta four a couple of times before making this video and it seems to work every time, which is really nice. So once you open up the application, just click on go. And this is what's gonna put your device into the jailbreak state okay so that is good we did get a fail there I do like showing this on video whenever it happens that's actually the first time the jailbreak has failed so I guess you guys will get kind of a preview of what it looks like if it's gonna fail uh, that's actually like I said the first time it's happened to me so I guess we'll just let our device boot back up and we'll try again all right my device is done booting back up so let's go ahead and enter our passcode let's go ahead and see if anything's multitasking nothing is multitasking I would recommend to uh, again open up multitasking and if for some reason the extra recipe um, application is still multitasking end it from multitasking and relaunch it so let's go ahead and try it again uh, it does say on the website where you download the jailbreak that sometimes this can fail and it's recommended to do a hard reboot on your device uh, to try and get it to work and again as you guys seen a hard reboot on the iPhone 7 and 7 plus is to hold the power and volume down button uh, until your device shuts off and the Apple logo reappears. So keep that in mind. We're gonna go ahead and try it again. Let's click on go. Failed and it's gonna reboot on me one more time. All right, so I'm gonna let it boot back up and we're gonna try something new. Alrighty, well this is looking promising. I've gone through and uh, I've tried this, I don't know, at least 10 plus times now and it seems to have finally put my device into the jailbreak state. So, like I said uh, before this video, the two times that I used the jailbreak or used extra recipe to put my device into the jailbreak state, it worked the first try. Uh, this time it took me, like I said, about 10 plus tries in order to get it to work so um i'll probably keep within this video uh the fast forward throughing all those attempts and different things that i tried to get it to work um if you guys are having issues like i did all i can say is just be persistent keep rebooting keep retrying it will eventually work uh so that seems to be buggy but once it's into you know the jailbreak state um it seems to run perfect without a hiccup so that is pretty much how you jailbreak 
with the new extra recipe beta 4. Now I'm also going to show you guys how to get extender that way you can automatically re-sign the jailbreak application without having to go to your computer and reinstall it. So what we're going to want to do is jump into Cydia. All right, now once you guys are in Cydia, you're going to want to go ahead and add this repo. I will have it listed down in the description. So go ahead and click on edit and then add repo and go ahead and add this. And we're going to go into all packages and you're going to want to install this package right here. It's called extender reloaded. Like I said, this is going to um, re-sign your extra recipe application. That way you will never have to use your computer to install it again because it will expire after seven days and then it won't allow you to open it but with this it will re-sign it automatically like I said so I already have it installed and we're gonna go ahead and go over to it and open it so once you have uh, Cydia extender installed what you want to do is go to the more section and you want to sign in with your Apple ID and passcode uh, like we did earlier in the video in order to get the dot IPA onto our device uh, same thing goes here just sign in and that's gonna allow it to be Resigned. I have mine set to automatically resign and resign applications when five days left. Now, if you guys are having issues with this, you can go into the advanced section and you're going to want to have auto revoke uh, certificates enabled there as well. Uh, for some reason, without that turned on, sometimes it, it won't uh, resign the applications. So just go in the advanced, like I showed, and turn that on, and it should work uh, perfectly fine. And then you can check on your um, applications right here it'll say signed and you know how long ago it was and how long you have until it expires so that's definitely uh, an application you're gonna want to have on your device like I said you can auto resign uh, the extra recipe application so that's me pretty much it for this video guys I know it's been a longer video but I wanted to show you guys you know uh, everything and hopefully I answered a lot of questions and like I said if you have issues with the jailbreak like I did myself just keep trying be persistent it will eventually work uh, but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely throw me a thumbs up that helps me out a lot here at the channel and if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future don't forget to click that subscribe button this has been Jeremy and I will catch you guys in the next one Later.